does water get to your tap? Do I know how water gets to my tap? Uh, yes. Um, Lakes, rivers, ponds. Through reservoirs. From the ocean? Probably through the sewer. From a pipe. Yeah, from pipes. I don't know, somebody that knows a whole lot more about it gets it there somehow. <laughs> Splash. <sighs> Splash. Splash, wake up. Whoa, you startled me. I was just uh, looking for leaks. <laughs> oh, Splash, it's okay to be tired. Traveling from the water plant to the tap is a long journey. You're telling me. New Jersey American Water maintains almost 9,000 miles of pipes. Not to mention tanks, pump stations, hydrants, valves. Ooh, I get exhausted just thinking about it. That's right, and each one has a big role to play. First, pumps move the water from the plant out to thousands of homes and businesses. Statewide, New Jersey American Water delivers about 330 million gallons of water to two and a half million people each day. That's no small task. Each gallon weighs more than eight pounds. That's right, Splash. Along the way, water towers hold thousands or millions of gallons of water. These towers help to provide reliable service when demand is high and during emergencies, like power outages and fires. They also help to improve water pressure. That's good. Sometimes I need a little help. Up hills, though. You're in luck, Splash. Pump stations help deliver water to customers at higher elevations. Phew, thanks for the boost. Like the water towers, these pumps also improve water pressure for homes, businesses, and emergency services. New Jersey American Water also maintains 45,000 fire hydrants across the state. Wow, there must be a lot of happy dogs in the Garden States. <laughs> There's more. Valves located throughout the pipelines reduce the number of customers impacted when repairs are needed or breaks occur. That's really important. Not to be a wet blanket, but some of those pipes are getting pretty old. How old are New Jersey's water pipes? Probably old. Hundreds of years old. 300 years? Six, seven hundred years old. I have no idea. 20 years old? A lot older than me. Hopefully they're not that old. They're not as old as George Washington. New Jersey American Water's pipes range from less than one month to over 100 years old. Here we have the historic district. These pipes were installed in the early 1900s and are still serving customers today. Ah! Yeah, some pipes like this still work, but they're getting old and they won't last forever. Ah! You're right, Splash. That's why New Jersey American Water has invested more than $150 million each year to improve its systems. Of that, $40 million is spent each year on replacing and fixing old pipes and equipment. But even that's not enough to keep up. At that rate, it will take hundreds of years to get to them all. Hundreds? That's a long time. Won't the pipes start to break before then? Yes. And fixing breaks can cost 10 times more than replacing pipes. Wow, so investing in our water systems is more important than ever. That's good. I could use a raise. Don't get too excited, Splash. New Jersey American water still costs less than a penny a gallon. But if we want to replace these pipelines and upgrade facilities at a faster pace, we'll need to invest more. That's okay. We can all benefit from new pipes, tanks, pump stations, fire hydrants. What are you still doing here? Your break was over 10 minutes ago and I need you at pump six. Uh-oh, I'm in hot water. I guess a water droplet's work is never done. Bye, Splash. New Jersey American Water. We care about water. It's what we do.